Hello guys! Well, in this tutorial today I will show you how to control your Arduino Uno via USB without any shield required. So let's get started! As an example, I'm going to print some data to the Blink terminal widget. Of course, you should have the Blink app installed. Uh, just in case you don't, you can do that anytime from the Google Play or App Store. Looking for the Blink, download it, open the app, log in with Facebook. I've got the, some projects here, but I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to name this project Uno plus USB. Select the Arduino Uno in the list. And connection type gonna be USB. Now I'm going to add a widget and it's gonna be terminal. Let's go to the terminal preferences and check that selected pin is V1. Of course, you can select any pin you want, but in my example, it's gonna be V1. When you're creating a project in the Blink app, it sends you an email with a token to control your Arduino board. So let's look for it. And here it is. Let's add a button for the LED as well. Pin for the LED is D13. Okay. We can move it somewhere. And now we're ready to run the project. We can do that by clicking that play button in the right top corner of the screen. And we're getting the message that Una Plus USB is offline, which is obvious because this is my Arduino Una and it's not connected yet. So let's move to that part. Now I'm connecting my Arduino Uno with my computer by USB. I'm assuming that you already have the Arduino IDE installed. Now we have to download the Blink library. You will find the link to the Blink library just below this video, of course. I'm downloading the latest version of the Blink library and unzip it. Now what you have to do, you have to copy those two folders and paste them to the sketchbook location. To find your sketchbook location, you can go to Arduino Preferences and this is it. So now I copy them to Documents, Arduino and I'm pasting those two folders. I think it's better to merge them. To make sure you did it in the right way, you have to restart the Arduino IDE and go to File, Examples and make sure that you can see the Blink folder here. Now we will look for the sketch. For that you should go to Examples Blink.cc and you should select the needed hardware, the widget and the connection type. So for me it's gonna be Arduino Uno, connection is serial USB and example I will use example for the widget terminal. The ready link for Arduino Uno plus USB plus terminal widget will be linked below this video. Now I'm copying the example and pasting it right to the empty sketch instead of all this stuff. What you have to do now is to make sure that the selected pin for the terminal in the code is the same as it was in project that you created in the app. For me it was V1. Now I have to put my auth token right here. So this is the token which app sent my email and I have to paste it right here. So finally we're ready to flash the sketch to the Arduino and move to the most exciting part. Now you have to make sure that the proper board and the proper board is selected. So I have to select the Arduino Uno. And now seems that I'm ready to verify the sketch first. Save it. So sketch is compiled now and ready to be uploaded to our Arduino board. The board is ready. Bear in mind that your Arduino board is not connected to the internet yet and for that you have to run this special script. To run the script you have to open the terminal. In the terminal you have to go to the folder where your library is located. 
Now we should go to the Blink folder and there go to the Scripts folder. Now you have to run this script. For that you should have Socat installed. Brew program can help us to install the Socat. If you don't have Brew installed, check out the instructions below this video. So now I'm running Brew install Socat. So Happy Beer telling us that everything went as expected and now we're ready to run the script once again. One important thing, now you have to tell the script which port you want to connect. Let's check that this one, this port, is the one we really need. We can go to Arduino Tools Ports and make sure that these ports are exactly the same. Now we have to copy the name of the port and paste it right here and click enter once again. We can see the successfully connected message. That means that we're ready to connect to our Arduino board. Make sure you have the app running. Now we can see the text in the terminal which asks us to type Marcus, so I'm typing. And we've got a reply. Cool. Let's check the LED. I'm hitting the button and there we go. Here's the LED on the board and it's sliding up. Can you see that? Hope you do. Yeah. Awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you. If so, please hit on the thumbs up button just below this video and subscribe to this channel to stay tuned. See you later. Bye.